everyone welcome or welcome back to our youtube channel so in today's video we are going to make guinea pig cage liners for our cage since i've been looking all over amazon and i really did wish guinea dad made 3x3 liners but they unfortunately don't so that's why i decided to make my own and i thought it would also be a good experience to make cage liners so we are going to go ahead and get started the materials you will need are u-haul pads you will also need fleece fabric so this is actually from my local cvs and this is 50 inches by 60 inches and it fits my cage perfectly so i got eight of them You will also need some scissors and a yardstick. These are extremely helpful, especially if you have large cages. And in general, you will need a yardstick when you are sewing things for your guinea pigs. To make things go faster, you will also need a sewing machine. You can also do this by hand, but it would take too long. So I definitely recommend you have a sewing machine. Otherwise, I would definitely buy them. So since my room is a little too small to make this, I'm going to go ahead and go into our family room to put this together. So my brother was actually playing music, so I'm going to do this voiceover to kind of explain what I'm doing. So I'm first going to lay down my U-Haul padding, and then I just undid the fleece, and then I actually measured and cut the U-Haul padding to the right measurements, and then I did the exact same thing to the fleece. After all that is done, you want to have the U-Haul either on the top or the bottom and both fleece pieces together on top or either on the bottom. I put it on top. I also forgot to mention that you would need pins to pin all of this down. Alright, so I'm pretty much completely out of breath, but I just want to say that that cage liner is done and I hope the voiceover made sense. So now we're going to hop on my sewing machine and the case runners on the bed. So I'm just going to time lapse me sewing this or somehow show me sewing this because the case runner is pretty big. So let's just get started. Alright, so I just finished with the cage liner. It is here. It is off of the sewing machine and all this extra stuff I'm going to go ahead cut off. Um, my room, again, is a bit too small, so I'm not going to film this part, but as you can see, those are all the pins and I really do hope if it's a cage because I was on the edge of the fleece liner for a while until the edges because the edges are curved so it's a bit harder but I really do hope it fits the cage because I worked really hard on sewing this. So I just finished cutting off the access as you can see that is all the access in the corner and now I'm going to flip it right side in in front of you guys. Alright guys, so I finally finished with the cage liner and I am going to show you now. I worked so hard on this and I actually do have to make another one and this pretty much took me an hour and a half, maybe more. So here it is. I am so excited and I did measure their whole cage. So this is definitely going to fit. I am so happy on how this turned out. 
and I am super excited to use this. So I just finished making both of the K-shiners and I think they came out really nicely. Um, this is the first time I made K-shiners and I actually think they came out so much better than I thought they would. So don't mind my room, it is such a disaster, but I did actually clean them yesterday and I am going to clean them actually again today so then I can use the cage liners. And I am also going to take down the Christmas decorations too because Christmas is over. Even though I still want Christmas, I think we are going to go ahead and take all the Christmas decorations down. All right guys, so I now have the cage on a clean slate. I only have one cage on a clean slate. So then I can just show you guys what the cage liner looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in and see my reaction. I don't think I've ever just put it in a plain place before. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on. Oh, oh my gosh, I need to make more. Oh, guys, this was perfect. Actually, maybe a little too big, but I mean like it shrinks. Oh, it could shrink. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, so the girls have been really exploring it, and I think I pretty much rate my sewing a seven out of 10. It wasn't that bad, but there were a few clumps in the fleece, but I think it'll be okay. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let us know in the comments below.